Keep America Beautiful is mourning the passing of Roger Powers, who passed away on August 8th at the age of 89. And joining us right now is his daughter. It really was his life's work to work for KV. Yeah, you know, I was speaking with my aunt, his sister, a couple of nights ago, I'll say this. Um, and before we even really began our conversation, the first thing she said to me was, well, you know, Pam, Keep America Beautiful was his life's work. We all knew this in the family. Uh, you know, dad was very proud to be a part of the organization because, you know, he believed that it was all about mobilizing people from the ground up. Mm -hmm. Grassroots was something that uh, he talked about a lot. That was a, a phrase that was thrown around all the time, you know, uh, starting from, you know, the foundation, beginning with individuals like you, like me, uh, John and Harriet and everybody else in the community, just making the even the smallest effort, um, because every every small effort amounts to something pretty big over time. You know, it, it really, really bothered him when the environment wasn't tidy. Um, and, you know, because dad was a person who liked people uh, very much about uh, working with others. You know, he, he really enjoyed, um, I think, the process of, you know, mobilizing people, getting people involved, um, spreading the message. And um, he, he just... It, it really was. It was his entire life. I think it came first, uh, really, uh, not to say that he didn't love his family. He certainly did. Um, but, you know, he he just gave it everything he had all the time. That's who he was. That was his reputation. That's how he presented himself to the world. So let's kind of go back to his earlier life. So he served in the U.S. Army. And one thing I'd love for you to touch upon is that he really just loved America. He did. He really did. So he was at uh, Fort Sill in Oklahoma. He was enlisted. And, uh, you know, he learned a lot about structure. Dad was very much a man of structure. He responded to that. Um, you know, you, you will do this and that and this and that. And it formed his personality in that it created discipline, tremendous drive, tremendous discipline, a can do attitude. Uh, uh, we're taking responsibility for one's actions, being held accountable. Um, yeah, and he really did love his country. He talked a lot about those years, playing a very, very strong uh, part in, in forming who he became. Um, I think as a little kid, he was kind of a wild child. So when he went into the military, as he used to like to say, it shaped him up. <laughs> so uh, I, I have his dog tag here. I carry it around with me. Your dad created the Clean Community System along with Carolyn Creighton. And this really was a huge sense of pride to him. And of course, the Clean Community System is now the KAB affiliate network. Right, right. Uh, I, it, it clearly was his finest hour. Um, there was that summer I, I referred to uh, where I was working reception in the KAB offices at 99 Park. Um, he would often talk to me uh, occasionally during those days when he wasn't too busy about the clean community system and how important it was to him. It was the model that he created to, you know, uh, uh, to mobilize people, to compel them to want to get out there and work in their communities to make a difference so that their communities were were beautiful. Uh, I mean, beautiful, of course, was the catchphrase. That was the word. But he really meant beautiful. He did. Um, and he loved to see people working together. Um, it, it, it meant the world to him. Uh, by the time he retired, I believe it was up to 400 communities, roughly. And I understand now it's uh, over 700 or close to it. Uh, so that's his legacy with Keep America Beautiful. It's wonderful to see that that's continued and, and is flourishing. Also at KAB, of course, the 1971 PSA campaign, that happened under his watch as well. It did, yes. Iron Ice Cody was the face of Keep America Beautiful, um, as opposed to my dad's. I think it was Iron Eyes, really, we all remember. He was so proud of that. And I was just a little girl. I was 11 years old. And um, I remember when he brought home the poster and um, he gave it to me and he asked me if I wanted it and I promptly hung it up in my room. Um, I loved the image. 
Uh, to this day, I love the image. In the other interviews that I've had with people this week, they talk about, all the former employees talk about the tremendous amount of trust that your father placed in them. He really took chances on some people that were just fresh out of college. And they also talk about his love and passion for KAB as well. Right, right. Well, he did. He believed that, you know, the future of Keep America Beautiful success, it's, it's uh, relevance. Uh, really rested on the shoulders of these young people because they had the energy, they had the vision. Dad was very happy to step aside and let them shine. That was important to him. He would delegate. He knew what he wanted. He was very you know, firm about what he wanted. Um, and he would you know, charge these individuals with their you know, respective roles. And, and he, would, he would be thrilled with the outcome more often than not. So, um, and I think he was quite correct because that's what continues to, you know, move the organization forward. The talent of these young people and their commitment, uh, their belief that uh, it, it makes a difference. You know, each of us makes a difference. All right. And finally, I want to mention this as well. Appreciating the American environment, the beauty of it was important to your father up to the very final days. Yes, it was. Um, well, he took beautiful care of his own home. And then of course he went into um, an assisted living care situation in a very beautiful home as well. And he would often sit in the, um, he had a bench in the backyard there. And we would spend a lot of time on the phone talking about how he would talk about how beautiful everything looked, uh, the beautiful native uh, pineapple palms and the, the crystalline blue sky that Arizona is so famous for. Um, he would just sit there in his chair and marvel at it, uh, almost like a child, uh, just captivated. And uh, he'd always say, he would just pause and he would say, beautiful, beautiful. So, yeah, right up to the end. Very lovely. Well, Pamela yeah. Powers, January. Again, our condolences. We are so grateful, obviously, as an organization for the time that your father spent in leading Keep America Beautiful. Thank you very, very much for your time today. Thank you, Abby. I appreciate being asked.